Hey, listen, we want to call and we wanted to get your your take, your inside scoop from Hollywood on the new 80s film uh, Rock of Ages. Have you heard about this? Uh, a little bit, yeah. What are you thinking? Now, have you ever done a period piece? Yeah, I've done uh, I've done several. Uh, I did uh, the greatest game ever played, which was uh, based on the 1912 uh, U.S. Open victory of Francis Wimet, which was like this uh, amateur turned pro. Uh, you know, once he won the. Uh, the U.S. Open, but he, he beat the two greatest golfers in the world. So that was 1912. Then I did We Are Marshall, which was uh, 1970, uh, the car, the uh, plane crash that took out uh, all the football players in Marshall University. And then I did... Was that with uh, uh, Matthew McConaughey there? Yeah, Matthew McConaughey. And then I did uh, Semi-Pro, which was like a mid 70s uh aba where uh, will ferrell manages and also plays and owns a uh aba kind of semi pro team wow nice. that is amazing now if there is there any celebrity you have not worked with <laughs> it seems like you've worked with almost everyone <laughs> well i worked with a lot of people but you know there's there's a lot that i still uh, would love and be honored to work with. Well, that's cool. We're honored that you work with us here at The Rock, 106.9 WCCC here in Hartford. And uh, you take the time to uh, uh, get in touch with us from out there in uh, Los Angeles. Now, uh, oh, Absolutely. I love you guys. Um, also, too, uh, Studio Guy and I were just talking, and he was saying how, what was that film you were telling me about that you want to see? The, that really romantic, gushy, girly oh, one? Oh, yeah, the new Zac Efron. I can watch him almost get blown up and then find the chick that uh, he was looking at the picture that saved his life, unknowingly. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, you're yeah. going there? Like, Shane. You're really going there with that. Let me tell you yeah. something, Shane. My favorite TV show used to be Ghost Whisperer because I could be turned on for an hour <laughs> from Jennifer Love Hewitt, and then I could cry at the end. It was the best. <laughs> <laughs> he he's very sensitive, Shane. You know, he, we were just talking. He loves like the t like Titanic, the Notebook, and I said, if there's no blood and guts, boobs and butts, and nothing blows up, I'm not interested. Oh well, hey, the Notebook brought me to tears. I love that film. Uh oh, because that that film was basically. I think somebody heard me talk about my life with my wife and I, and then wrote it. That's very romantic. Anytime yeah, you no, want to get together like and almost. It's the almost exact story of how my wife and I went through our whole life. Okay, you see, now I'm going to have to go on Netflix and watch it. Anytime you want to get together, we can get a good cry. You let me know. <laughs> I could see you two guys sitting there <laughs> blowing your nose. This is so romantic. <laughs> oh, you I, that's why that's one of the reasons I tend to like things that kind of expand the emotional spectrum. And Act of Valor, I think, probably was a good example of it. Kind of had everything, you know. I will tell you right now that Act of Valor, the last scene, I got to admit, I was there were there were tears in my eyes. I was really moved by that final scene in Act of Valor. I mean, with all the action, just that last was really emotional for me. Hey, you know, guys, I got this email from a person who saw this film uh, last night in Australia because it was released yesterday in Australia. And it brought me, one, to my knees, and two, I was crying like a baby while I was driving to, uh, to work today. Oh, let really? Me, let me read it. Okay, you guys there? Yeah, we're here. Okay, it says, Today is opening day of Act of Valor in Australia. Having waited with anticipation for too long, we're a little behind stateside down under. I just witnessed cinematic excellence beyond words and feel compelled to write Mr. Hurlbut for two reasons. Firstly, the film's high-octane visual intimacy is unparalleled to anything I've ever seen, completely transforming contact with each and every shot. The contact between audience and characters, expression and emotions, low-light detail, shot textures so crisp and emotive, just an incredible combination of visual storytelling, techniques, an imagery that delivered every time in spades. Not walked out of a cinema with that feeling before and wanted to communicate my sincere thanks, gratitude, respect to Mr. Hurlbut and the entire Active Valor production team on achieving, achieving visual feats 
not seen before in action films. Your, your embrace of new capture tools pushing visual limits when people said it won't hold up on cinema reinforces how critical it is to use techniques and technology, putting powerful cameras in places that viewers least expect them to be capturing POVs and angles that transform an audience's viewpoint. Secondly, since 2003, it's been too difficult for me to comfortably go to a cinema and watch any kind of war conflict action film as a result of losing a friend who was also my sound man in an RPG ambush, in which we were embedded with the 3rd Infantry Division in, in Fallujah, Iraq, working for NBC News. The camaraderie my mate and I shared throughout our friendship and on that fateful assignment has never been something I've spoken much about. The strength and honor amongst those that live by the core values portrayed in the film are not common elements in friendship these days. Never has a film so beautifully portrayed the power of these rare marks of a man. On many levels, a sincere thank you, Mr. Roebuck, for pouring endless enthusiasm and skill into crafting a story that had a significant impact and revigorated my passion for storytelling. At a time never needed before, there's never been a better time to be behind the camera. Sincerely and respectfully, Marcus O'Brien. Amazing. Amazing. Doesn't it, it feels good to know that you can impact people that way, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah. you you have a lot of people out here that respect you, Shane, and uh and uh you know love love you and love what you do man and uh, hey that's that uh i think that pretty much sums it up you're you're a pretty amazing guy <laughs> no it just makes all the pain you know like i always describe making active valor was like being punched in the face hit in the head with a shovel and buried alive every day wow wow you know it's just because you were dealing with something that nobody knew about yeah. And and you didn't know how to use it. I mean, I literally jumped out of an airplane without a parachute. Wow. Wow. And, uh, you know, my team along with me was fearless, and the directors were fearless. Everyone was fearless on this thing because everyone said it couldn't be done. Definitely. And, you know, I, I like those odds. You, <laughs> and you did it. You did it. And it's, uh tell you what, it, it visually it's amazing. And is there any word on when that's going to come out on Blu-ray and DVD? Uh, fairly soon, I think, you know, they're, they're waiting obviously for all the, the different places, uh, you know, from the European release, the foreign release. I think, uh, Australia is one of the last ones. I think it's probably coming out in June or July. Awesome. Awesome. When, when it, uh, when it comes out, will you come back on again and, and talk about it further when the home video oh, releases? Yeah, happens? There's a lot of good BTS moments, you know, behind the scenes of, uh, yeah. Of us getting shot at with live bullets and stuff. Oh, I hope you have. I hope you have a real uh, and like a bonus feature on the on the DVD for that. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I was. So uh, where does that where does that show? Do, I mean, do people see it in Afghanistan? Do they see it in Iraq? Or probably not. No, <laughs> no, I don't think we're we're toting it over there. Right. <laughs> Did you see that? That would be American propaganda. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Awesome. Shane, thank you again so much for uh for calling in and spending a few minutes with us and uh we always love having you. And No, uh, absolutely. I, I just had to share that. It was something that I you know, popped into my email box on the way down to work and just blew my mind. Well, yeah, you know, it was nice. It was nice and we're we're glad to, we're glad that you shared it here and um our listeners will uh will be uh will will be thrilled to hear it. 